You first begin by taking 360 degrees worth of photos at different intervals. I did this best by sitting on a bar stool. Make sure you get above and below the head. I did explore capturing a full body mesh, however this required standing still for longer and a higher content of photos. Typically this would be better done with a full camera rig, where all the photos can be taken at one time. There's a range of photogrammetry softwares currently available, some free, some paid for, some provide educational trials, but most of them work in the same way. Once in your photogrammetry software, it's then a case of aligning the photos. This helps you build a basic point cloud. The point cloud is the base of your 3D model. You can then build more detailed models as a dense cloud, and this can construct a mesh which textures can be applied to and with some work you can build a more realistic model. I then used Fuse, part of the Adobe Suite, to model the body of my character. Adobe Fuse is great because you can adjust a character's uh, appearance to meet your needs, whether making it dimensionally accurate, cho choosing body, structure size, or adjusting clothing to match your requirements. So in this case, I made my character look similarly to my styling. I then saved my character's body as an OBJ file and brought it into a 3D modeling software called Blender. It was then a case of also bringing in my head and matching it with the body. I kept the back of the hair to blend in with mine, but removed most of the facial elements. It was then a case of sculpting the head's neck to join with the body as a uniformed object. Once that is done, you then export the whole character with its textures as an OBJ file. It's a folder with a material file, an OBJ file and the textures. You can then zip this and send it to an online software called Mixamo developed by Adobe. Mixamo is a great software because it enables character rigging. You can upload your OBJ character and point out the ligaments, the wrists, the arms, the knee joints. It will generate a character rig for you. Mixamo provides a range of different character positions, stances and actions which you can adjust to meet your needs. So let's just preview a few here. You've got a idle standing position that shows a bit of motion to help your character look real. Once you're happy with your character animation, you can then download it. I would choose a Collada format, which is better for web or applications, and you can choose to download it with the skin and at what frame rate. You can also look at exploring more adventurous options such as this dancing style animation, which just really helps bring your character to life. It's then the case of opening up Xcode, a free app development platform by Apple. I will provide all the code linked uh, with the video, but this code's actually copied from another video on how to animate characters online, which I will provide all the references to below. Effectively, you need to bring in your Collada file with its textures and then change the reference links in the view controller. Also, make sure you adjust the scale. Then you can open up the app and trial it on your phone, viewing your 3D character in augmented reality. Here you can see my clone in life-size scale and all the detail ranging from his face to his clothes and his shoes. I also made a version where my character is really, really small and when you tap him, he chooses to dance around, do something a little bit fun and then returns back to his normal standing position. Cool. Now, this was good if you wanted to load 3D AR data from the installation of an app, 
but I thought, wouldn't it be great if you could load AR from the web browser? So I started looking into ARJS and A-Frame. There's a great GitHub repository providing all the instructions on how to do this. I'll attach a link in the description. Effectively, within the web browser, a marker image enables the loading of the 3D data. Additionally, if you embed a QR code in the marker, you can then also load the web page from any QR-enabled camera on a device. ARJS is supposed to be really simple and only really consists of 10 lines of HTML code. All you really need to do is change the reference 3D file that you're linking to. One of the first things you need to do is open a GitHub repository and upload your object file with its material file and all attached textures. This gives you links to connect to within your HTML code. So for example, if we view the object file as a URL, you'd go click view raw and then there you have the URL. When trying it out, I found a great codepen.io by Pavel Laptev, which enabled additional features such as rotating the model and zooming in or scaling. So I worked on top of that and I attached the link to my code pen in the description. In the HTML, you can see the OBJ and material URLs being referenced to load the data. And I also then worked to change the scale appropriately, as well as the rotation of my model. Some unique code that I added was also a link to my personal website. So this could almost act as a mini CV or business card that you could send out to someone and then they could click to see more details on the person. I exported the code and hosted it on my own website. The extra thing you need to do is generate a QR code for that web page and you can embed that within the marker. Now for the exciting bit. Let's say you're watching a video on YouTube like this one and you suddenly see the hero marker and it says scan me. You simply hold your phone up to the marker in the camera mode. A link pops up that directs you to visit a website. Visit the link and then it brings you into the augmented reality browser. Tilt your phone horizontal and allow camera access. And there you go. Point the camera at the marker and you've got augmented reality right in front of you without downloading anything. And anybody can do it. This demo has buttons to control the rotation of the model, as well as zoom to enlarge the model and view it in different sizes. Awesome. Now pause the video, take out your phone and give it a try. If you can't read the QR code, you can visit this web address. You can share your hero marker image on the web via social media or even print it out. I'll provide links to more detail of the different stages in the description.